Hello and welcome to the Stock Planner channel. Today I would like to re review a few stocks, take a look at the overall feel of the market, and I want to focus on a China stock. The Stock Planner channel is an education channel. We share our ideas, learn from each other, and when nobody's making any recommendations, you have to do your own due diligence. And we're swing traders, taking the tops and bottoms of a market, and hopefully take that piece in between the trend in between my overall goal is to be consistent a be more consistent trader but also to make at least six percent per quarter i know that doesn't sound like a lot but when you add that per year your apr is about 24 percent warren buffett is doing about 18 19 right at the moment everybody needs a trading edge my trading edge is i was a penn state computer science graduate Worked as in the analysis field in the military, and I know how to use some programs and program. But mo mostly, I know how to do percentages, which is all you need to be a successful trader. And I'm willing to take a risk, a calculated risk, one that's planned out, one that has an expectancy. And don't forget to check out my free Discord. Has some trade ideas. I'm going to show those in a bit. Do you need to win every single time? My strategy is based on winning about 50 to 60% of the time, almost to a coin to us. Let's look at the news. I have a blog, which is basically my journal. Everybody recommends you keeping a journal. Let's check it out for the news. I have some links to, to my favorite news sites. Looking at barchart.com, stocks slide for the third day. And it looks like the Fed has copped an attitude and is going to keep the pressure on to curb that inflation. If you haven't catched the news, Gorbachev passed away. Checking out investing.com. Each morning they put a, a top five things that are moving the market. It's kind of interesting. Easy to read. Inflation up to 9% in the Eurozone. And this is a, a problem, by the way, of, of investing.com and all the news readers. If you're not paying for service, you're going to get a lot of ads. Stocks are set to open mixed. Let's check that out. This is Trading View, and it's mostly free. A great starter package. Looking on the daily time frame, which each bar of these is a day's worth of data. This is Tesla, and I would, my wife is just starting to get interested in investing, and she's interested in Tesla. And she did a paper trade right there, and she's losing $463. She has 38 shares, paper trading. I encourage anybody that's trying to learn the trade to do some paper trading Especially in this environment right now, great time to learn. It's hard, very hard in a, in a bear market. So I use watch lists and I have one that's called day trade. I'm not doing a whole lot of day trading, but once in a while I look at Forex. These are the ones I'm interested in. I'm not interested in the whole thing. And then the indexes. And it looks like the 500 is it's showing some positive look. Switching to the weekly. Now each of these bars is a week's worth of data and I'm a swing trader and I'm looking for these tops and bottoms this is the zigzag indicator look how perfect it is it's picking those tops and bottoms and this is a secondary zig these solid lines are the I really know what I'm doing and these are the secondary right now the zigzag doesn't know what it's doing I it think it's going down for the weekly for the 500 S&P 500 but this is a zigzag indicator, and you can't really use it to trade because it it paints itself. It looks to the future to be perfect here. But I use it to, to find other indicators, and it looks like right there would have been a down according to zigzag. And my indicators are shown a crossover there and RSI down. And the stochastic is not doing much, and you got a an upward trend right there. Now, do you have another downward trend? RSI says it might be. The MACD is above the zero. We like that. And there is a crossover of the stochastics. All three of those things occurring at the same time. This might be a downtrend on the weekly. So are we in a downtrend for the S&P 500? And by the way, the three bar strategy is on my Discord. And I have individual MACD, stochastic, and RSI signals on my Discord channel and they're free. Switching back to the daily, the RSI on the daily is looking like it's about to come around. And usually wait, the stochastic is about to come around, and the 
MACD is below the zero. When that happens, you'll have, it might be today, it might be tomorrow, you have a chance to go long. Zigzag on the daily does not know what it's doing after yesterday. It looks like it wants to come up. So it'll wait. That's why you can't use it to trade and have to use other indicators. So NASDAQ looks like it wants to come up this morning. Showing some positive signs. The rut and the Dow could be a positive morning. But yesterday I thought it was going to be positive and recommended that I was going to look at 3M and I didn't get in it. And it went down instead of up. My recommendation yesterday was that it was going to move up about 11%, up into the 140 range. And the pre-market looks like it's going down. Going out to Discord to my free tr trade idea list and clicking on. And this was produced, it's produced three, three, three or four times a day. And it's showing that there's some buy recommendations, the buy ideas at the checkout on the RSI. We're going to look at a couple, especially since we're green, green, showing green today. PG, Procter Gamble, I want to look at. KMB and FXI. FXI is not showing anything here in the RSI, but it's showing a short on the MACD and the stochastics. And my wife is Chinese, and we were talking about whether the market was going to go up. Every day, my wife has some money in China, and every day she looks at the dollar versus the Chinese yen. One Chinese one, and um, she worries about her money constantly. I really don't care, but she does. And I told her that I thought the stock market, if if, in fact, China does not relax its zero tolerance COVID policy, they, they have to open their economy, the tourism, various different. They're going to be hurt. Their banks are in trouble, and their housing market is in trouble. And I told her I believe that they're keeping a tight control until the uh, sort of that they have this election coming up in October, November. There's a, a power conflict going on with the upper leadership. So they're going to keep a tight control. In other words, keep power. Chairman Xi will probably come up on top. Anyway, look at those three. PG, KMB, and FXI, which is a ETF. Two long and one short. Wow. Procter & Gamble. Resistance. I guess there's a support line there, but it looks like there's one here too. And you don't have to be accurate with these lines. I mean, a lot of people think you have to be precisely on. You're just going to kind of get a ballpark. So, will this hit the support line and go back up? RSI is below the 30, and it has not come back around. The stochastic is below 20, and has not come around. And the MACD is below the zero line. All three of those conditions are about to happen. Earnings was way back here. My settings are in the, in the description below. My RSI is set on fast at 4. Most people set it at 14. Lots of people use these same indicators. Nothing rocket scientists on it. Plenty of information out on, on the web and how to use them. What do you think of this trade? Up or down? Put, it, put a comment in the description below. And by the way, subscribe. Kimberly Clark, toilet paper. Stock tipper. Ticker KMB daily time frame each bar's daily a day's worth of data. Is there support here? That's resistance. Is there resist support here? It sure has gotten there a lot of times. And same situation here. RSI is below the, the 30. The stochastic is below the 20, but has not come back around. And the MACD is below the zero. Is it about to come around? Mr. Zigzag, as of yesterday, did not know what it's doing. And when it doesn't know what it's doing, that's when we like to take action. But, like I said, it looks to the future to be the, paint these perfect lines. The primary and the secondary lines. Well, I like both of those trades. If we think that the stock market is going to go up for the next couple of days, I like both of these trades for long. And let's look at FXI. Swing trader, tops and bottoms. As we know, that's looking back on history. The MAC is not above the zero. Uh, yeah, well, excuse me. It is above the zero. The stochastic is above the 80 and come back around, and the RSI came back around here. When they all occur at the same time, that would have predicted that one quite nicely. Now we have a bottom here, and the RSI came back around there. The stochastic came back around there, and we were below the zero. That's good. All three occurred at the same time, which occurred right about here. 
we have an up. Now we have a situation where the RSI as above the 70 and came back around. Crossover for the stochastic and the RSI, excuse me, the MACD is above the zero. Those occurring at the same time, and we're looking like a short right here. China's economy is closed still. They still have a zero COVID policy. People in China, when they want a new apartment or house, a condo, you pay up front, and then they build it, and then you get to move in. People, you have to start paying the, for the mortgage before you even live there. The companies that are building these condominiums are going bankrupt. They can't afford to pay. And therefore, the people that have bought these condos are paying for them and not going to get them are mad. And this all come to the head uh, in around October, November. The banks might bust. The builders might bust. But I think there's China is economy is definitely have some headwinds. And so I'm willing to take a chance at going down short on FXI, which is a basket full of stocks, which includes Alibaba, Tencent, Neo, China companies, big caps. So I used options for the October time frame, which is 90 days out, and predicted that the move expectation would be around 7%, which would be a low strike of 27.50 in a high strike of 31. So if it has a effective move of 7% based on where it's at now, it'll go up to about here and 27.50 or here. We're here. It had gone up that way or that way. The indicators seem to think it's going down. Zigzag doesn't know where it's going. But if we had that 7% move and you invested $1,000, you'd have 70 bucks, which is... 28% APR if you did four of these trades a year. That's not bad. So you can invest $1,000. That's one way of doing it. Or you can do some options strategies. You could do a bear call spread. You could sell a call, buy a put. I'm going to use a little trickier spread called a call broken wing. And it consists of selling two calls and buying two calls as protection. Looking at November, there's my 7% chart range so if it gets to seven percent at any one time this is what i can expect to win up to 169 or 59 if it gets to that point so you could figure in i guess an average of that would be about a 100 bucks to win and if you're capping your loss at the same percentage there's where you go so keeping the theory of letting your winners run and stopping out your losers if it ever gets into the red territory you stop it and just say you stop it on an average of around 46 dollars you'd stop it anywhere it hit in the red territory between 46 dollars and 75 so you win and you can lose and just say that between the average between that is going to be around 60 bucks so your risk is 60 and your win is 100. Risking 60 to make 100. Or you can buy the stock to make about 70 to 80 per, 80 dollars. And let's see what the investment would be. The investment to do this trade is only going to be 181 dollars. That's your max loss. That's what you're going to require to put up. And you get in your bank account 119 dollars immediately that you can use in loan against. It's credited immediately. And if you get lucky, you'll get this $219. If you get lucky, I'll show you how that works. You're going to win something if the stock stays below 3019. It's already at 29. So as long as it stays from where it's at and stays below that, you're going to win something. But you win the most right here at this little Christmas tree at expiration. And if this is where you take your most money anyway. If it gets to this point, it stays around this area and hovers around. This is where you can win the most. And that's where you can win your $214 if it ends there. That's your reward. And where does that number come from? Well, you sold two calls at 28. And the most money is when it hits the 28. Look at that. Right on the 28. So you want it to come to your, at expression, you want it to, to be around where you sold the calls. But if, if you don't catch that, you're going to have a guarantee. As long as it stays below 30, you're going to have 
and win 119. I like these trades because I like this little reward. And I like them too because the only risk you have is if it goes in the wrong direction. So you have the bottom line is it, you've isolated this to, to picking a direction. You have to pick a direction and you sh need to be right. What do you think of this trade? Please leave a comment below. So what's my plan of attack for the week? I'm overall short. So I want the market to go down. But my options are up to one year out. So I'm in good shape if the overall market declines, which I think it will up until the election. It seems like Chairman Powell is set on curbing inflation, which means that that's going to slow the economy down. Long for Procter & Gamble, Kimberly Clark, and short on FXI. Remember to do your own due diligence, create your own strategy, learn it. And if you learn your own strategy, you're going to win for life. Maybe achieve the dreams, but you have to stop dreaming and you have to start executing, which means if you don't have no money right now, why don't you paper trade? Like I'm, my wife, which is very, very, very frugal and watches her money every single day. That's not a bad trade. Anyway, like what you're doing. Happy trading. We'll catch you on the flip. Mm -hmm.